Welcome in this video where we are going to have some fun with the GitHub Copilot. So in this video we are going to use GitHub Copilot to help us to create a function that will do a linear interpolation. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So def linear interpolation. Um, not quite right, it's not what I want. Values. Okay, I will help it with a, with a few um, with a few parameters. So we have x one, and we know the value of the function at x one. We okay, awesome. With x two, we know the value of the function at x two, and now we have a point x in between x one and x two, and we want to know the value of x, and therefore we need to uh, to 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 make an average of f x one and f x two, uh, and weighted by the uh, by the difference between x1 and uh, between x and x1, x and x2, uh, and there is a formula. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the right formula, but we will uh, we will try that in a few seconds. So okay, let's do this. Uh, as always, I prefer to use Jupyter Notebook rather than uh, Visual Studio for testing. So let's try it. So let's say we have uh, x1 that is equal to zero. The value of the function at zero is ten. With x2, let's say it's 5, and the value at 5 is 15. So let's try by taking x that is just in between x1 and x2, so 2.5. Uh, so therefore, the, the value of the function between 0 and 5 should be the average of the two. So it should be it should be 12.5. Uh, the result is great. So now let's put that to the extreme. Let's say that x is equal to 0. So if the formula is great, uh, the value at 0 is 10. Perfect. If I take 5, I have 15. Let's take 4. So I should be uh, in between 10 and 15, but more, but closer to 15. And I think the value should be 14. Okay, 14. If I put 3, 13, 2, 1. Okay, awesome. So result. Uh, without having to look at the formula or just by giving the right arguments because when I was not giving the right arguments uh, GitHub Copilot wa was not able to provide me the right uh, formula but just by uh, writing the, the name of the function on the arguments I've been able to get uh, this formula that seems correct we can try to do some tests let's see if GitHub Copilot can help us there um, so you can see it's loading it's searching for okay so maybe that's a lot We'll just take a few of them. Uh, so one, two, three, four. If I take the value between one and two and three, which is two, I should have the the, uh, the average of two and four, which is three. So uh, the first te test seems right to me. Let's have a look at this uh, because sometimes GitHub copilots uh, provide tests that are not right. Let's see if this one is correct. Test passed. So the line five is not right. So let's have a look. So we have the function f of one is equal to two, f of three is equal to four, and if I take the value at four, that should be uh, oh that the four it's outside of the range. Uh, so a, a, so x should be between. Um, between x1 and x2. If we will put a comment and see if uh, GitHub Copilot ca can uh, can give some code. Check if x is between. Okay. But we don't have code for that. Okay, we don't have code for that. We'll just do it ourselves. And in that case, he was trying to uh, invert. In case x2 is greater, is lower than x1, it was trying to invert x1 and x2 on fx1, fx2. We could do that. We will not do it. So if x... Uh, oh, I think I, I had what I wanted. If x1... 
Okay, so if x is between the two of them, we can return this. On else, we will raise an error. Raise. And let's say if he can help us. Value error. Okay, perfect. He is able to give us this error. So let's try that again. On now we have a value error x is not between x1 and x2 so that was line 13 this one so let's use the value 3 on at x equal to 3 we should have 4 this test is the same x5 is not between 1 and 3 so let's remove it here we have the same 0 is not between 1 and 3 so if we take let's just remove this code this one as well this one as well okay so we had a few issues that in the sense that the, all the, the the tests were not right so given the the pair of arguments the answer was not right uh, mainly because github copilot was giving uh, invalid uh, invalid inputs uh, but anyway he was able to give us a few tests that are correct that allows to test our function uh, he's also able to just provide the right or message for us uh, as well as making some some checks so that's pretty awesome uh, I really like. Uh, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave the thumbs up. It really helps with this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and do not hesitate to subscribe. It really helps. On you, uh, you will uh, see other or similar content. Thank you.